So chances are, if you're watching these videos, you're going to be using one of these routers, which is a NetGate 2100 PFSense router. And in this video, I'm going to go over just the hardware aspects of this router and explain what the different ports are. So on the back here, you have the 12 volt input jack, which goes alongside with the power brick and this plug here, which screws into the back of here. You have four gigabit ethernet switch ports, and these are what you would connect to your network. There's a switch built inside of here, alongside the router. There's two WAN ports, uh, which you can either use with ethernet or you can use SPF, which is more like fiber, um, but we're not gonna worry about uh, the SPF port. You have a USB console output, micro SIM slot, USB, and a reset button. That's pretty much it for the hardware. On the front here, there's three LEDs, and the symbols they use are a little confusing. You'll want to reference the manual when you're trying to figure out what these lights mean. Um, the diamond, for example, is when it slowly flashes, it means that uh, that's, it's running. Um, if the uh, square flashes, um, then it's it means that there's either an upgrade available or it's doing an upgrade, but uh, it's not the most uh, immediately obvious what these LEDs mean. It is important to point out though, when you're using this, um, if you're going to configure it, you want to connect to one of the four LAN ports. You don't want to connect to the WAN port because the firewall is in front of the WAN port. So you won't actually be able to access the configuration page inside of the router from the WAN port. You have to connect to the LAN ports. Once you plug it in, the startup does take a little while, so just hang on for it and it'll be up in probably a few minutes. Next, you'll need to use Ethernet to plug into one of the LAN ports. It doesn't matter which one. And from there, you can access the web configuration page with the default address of 192.168.1.1. And then you can log in with the pass with the username admin and the password as pfsense. Once you log in, it'll have you agree to some terms and conditions. And from this point, you are ready to start configuring the router. And in the next video, we'll start going through different types of configuration steps that you would do early on and explore those in that video.